Difference between make clean and make disclean. I installed Foompeg from sources with help this page. This URL. I noticed that most of this tutorial calls, make disk clean, after, make install. But only with PX calls, make clean, after installing. According this document, this URL, make clean, deletes all files that make created, and, make disk clean, delts all files that, dot slash configure, created. Make clean. Erase from the build tree the files built by make all. Make disk clean. Additionally erase anything. Slash configure created. I understand that, make disk clean, is called for for next installation, but I could not understand why, make clean, is called after installation. The installed from peg works without problem. So I asked this question because I only want to improve my knowledge about Linux. It would be very helpful that someone give me an explanation for it. The parameter used after make is just dependent on the developers who wrote the make file. The documentation you later reference, AutoTools, is just one of many ways to create a make file. The typical standard is, make clean, will remove all intermediate files, and, make disk clean, makes the tree just the way it was when it was untarred, or something pretty close, including removing any configure script output. This is the way the Linux kernel works for instance. In other words, it's totally dependent on the developers for each of those libraries, and this is why sometimes it's clean and other times it's disk clean. By the way, you don't need to run clean slash disk clean, I guess they have you run it just to save disk space. Make install usually copies the files to the destination directory, again dependent on the developers, typically places like slash use or slash lib or slash use or slash bin, also determined by the configure script, if it's an auto tools built system. These nuances are the main reason people use package management systems like RPM or Debian packages. To my understanding, it's simply to save disk space. After compiling some programs you will have a lot of files, for example object files which are not needed anymore, because they are linked together in the binaries. All can be recreated by spending again some CPU time. Take this example with the current vague code. After cloning the Git repo, the source takes 53 plus 160 kilobit. After the configure run it's 53 plus 632 kilobit. After compilation, we have more than 10 times the initial value, 673 plus 668 kilobit. Make clean, reduces this to 53 plus 636 kilobit. And finally after, make disk clean, we are nearly at the level right after the cloning, 53 plus 188 kilobit. Why the live step uses, make clean, instead of, make disk clean. At the time of writing the guide live had no rule in its make file for the target disk clean, so clean was used instead. Why, make, disk clean, is included after, make install. Make disk clean, make clean, is included after each, make install, simply as a precautionary measure to provide a clean slate for users who go back change configure options, and recompile, which occurred more often than expected. In a previous version of the compile guide, without the preventative, make disk clean, one of these users would on occasion encounter unexpected results. What if, make disk clean, make clean, gives an error? Like this. or this. 
ignore it. It just means you lightly ran, make dis clean, twice which is harmless. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.